I was just wondering, I heard you talking about the basketball game uh, mm-hmm. possibly coming up. I was going to see if you guys were able to uh, uh, lure uh, Manson out of out of retirement because if rumor has it last time he went and played basketball, he had to have his nose reconstructed. Yeah, the, the worst thing about playing basketball as a dude over 30 is someone's going to end up with an emergency room visit. It's an, it's a turned ankle. It's a reconstructed nose. For me, twice, uh, fractured elbows. You know, you get some bozo driving the lane. I'm no defensive standout, but some dude drives the lane. You go up to block a shot. Somebody puts their elbow in your chest. You know, you break your fall with your elbow, and then you break your elbow. So... You know, basketball is probably a horrible idea, even three on three half court. Someone's going to get pissed off. Someone's going to get injured. But, you know, it's what we do. I love some pickup ball as long as everybody's on the same page, the same fat, out of shape page, which is where we'll be. Faux show. Uh, I think we do have one more pair of passes to the uh, Green Day American uh, Idiot uh, musical thing. If you want them, just real quick with an Ask Me Anything. We don't have much time left in this show. But if you want them, just craft a question for Ask Me Anything, 727-579-1025. And I will uh, will award you if you ask a pretty good question. Two bike events for you to know about this weekend, sponsored by Attorney Fran Hosh, one of our near and dear sponsors. Sunday, they're both on Sunday, and you've got great opportunities to get on your bike for a good cause. The 2013 Cruise for Kids Motorcycle Poker Run, benefiting local children's charities and all children's hospital. Kickstands up at 11 at Brandon Harley Davidson. Stops at Tampa Harley and Jim's Harley with the final stop at Quaker Steak and Lube. All bikes in by 1 p.m. Biker Club Trophy. Live music from Stormbringer. They bring the storm. Purchase a $5 raffle ticket for a chance to win one of two $5,000 gift cards from Visa. Provided by attorney Fran Hosh, all proceeds help out the kid and the kids, uh, plural, not just one kid. And Sunday, Sea Dog Brew Pub and attorney Fran Hosh present It All Goes to the Dogs Ride in Bike Show to benefit Dunedin Doggy Rescue, Florida Great Pyrenees Association. Hey, my neighbor has a Pyrenees. Those are some big white dogs. And the Southeastern Guide Dog Association. Live music, door prizes, raffle prizes, five different bike classes, all brands welcome, prizes for first and second place, 10 bucks to enter, and it all goes to the dogs. What's up, Mike? Go ahead, bud. Hey, just uh, punch boxing for fitness. I yep. uh, was curious as to whether you know they're ever going to open one up in Clearwater. I hope so. I know that a lot of people uh, in Clearwater, in Pinellas County, in St. Petersburg, I know a lot of people want uh, punch boxing for fitness there. I would recommend uh, – it's not that much of a drive to West Chase, you know? It, it It's not like West Chase is Lando Lakes. It's not like West Chase is Ruskin or anything like that. It's not like – you know, you've got one out in Wesley Chapel. West Chase is pretty – it takes me 20 minutes to get – 25 minutes – okay, 45 minutes in rush hour traffic. But if there's no traffic, it takes me about 30 minutes from here at work to get there. Carrollwood, right there on Northdale maybe. South Tampa's pretty close to Pinellas County. You just go over that damn Gandy Bridge. Don't fear the Gandy Bridge. They are there. And I'll tell you, man, don't use distance as an excuse. They will get your ass in shape. Trust me. What's up, Desiree? Hi. I was trying to get the American Idiot musical uh, tickets, and I had a question for you. All right. Let's hear the question. In the zombie apocalypse, would you prefer to be a zombie or a survivor, and why? 727-579-1025 and 800-771-1025. What's up, Doug? You just used the word Texas. Who? Is the correct verbiage text or texted? Texted. Texted. T-E-X-T-E-D. Texted me. So text isn't a word, right? No, it is. Text is a verb. Text message. It's short for text message. So texted is correct. Texted. Yes. If you if I text you in the past tense, I texted you. Okay. See ya. Bye. Idiot. 727-579-1025. What's up, Dave? How are you? I'm doing good, Drew. How are you doing today? Well, very well. Thank you. Hey, I have a quick question for you. Yep. Um, did, you, did you say you used to surf? I did, yeah. Back in the day when I lived closer to Cocoa Beach in Orlando, we would go out and, uh, man, if we were feeling real daring, we'd go out to Sebastian. But I would I'd be quite frank, I would usually sit those out. I, I am not equipped for Sebastian, Monster Hole, and all that. But, yeah, I would go down to Cocoa Beach and surf. Oh, good deal, man. We're glad to have you over here. And if you ever want to check it out, Honeymoon Island, uh, you know, some of those areas over on this side of the coast are not too bad during the right day. So maybe we'll see you out there sometime. I would, dude, I would love that. I'd love to get back out on a surfboard, man. 
I uh, I like Honeymoon Island a lot too. What's up, Steve? Hey, Drew. I know you go to punch boxing, but yep. what are, what kind of diet regimen did you put yourself on? Good question. Uh, five small meals a day, my man. Every couple hours, eat a little something. Uh, eat dinner more than two, three hours before you go to bed. No carbs after three. No late night snacking. So just stay off the starch, just like the, the yeah. breads and the white rice? Yeah, I don't eat a lot of bread. I don't eat a lot of white rice. I don't eat a lot of rice at all, brown, white, whatever. Just not a lot of uh, not a lot of those noodles or anything like that. 727-579-1025. Billy, what's up, dude? What's happening? How are you? I got a, good. I got a question for you. Why Why is there Braille at a drive-up ATM? Someone's asked that before, and I, I will take you to task much as I took him to task. There is Braille at a drive-up ATM because I don't know if you know this, Blind people aren't required to sit in the front seat. If you have a blind passenger, he can sit behind the driver so the driver may pull up to the drive through ATM. The blind person sitting directly behind the driver may unroll his window and withdraw his cash so that he does not have to leave the vehicle. Shouldn't they just walk up to the ATM? Why, why would they have to if they, if they can just do it in the backseat of someone's car? Yeah, I guess. I guess you're right. See, that's the difference between a stupid person like yourself and a smart person like me, sir. A smart person like me takes it that next level and can actually use logical thinking on why that takes place. And a moron like you, like you calls a radio station because he's too stupid to figure it out for himself. Well, you think you think a blind person would drive if they're at a drive up ATM? No, you wouldn't think that. You'd think that if you were stupid like you are, but if you were smart like I am, you would know that a blind person is not going to be operating a motor vehicle, numb nuts. He's going to be sitting behind the driver so that he can. the driver is not inconvenienced. He doesn't have to stop his car. He just pulls up right there, doesn't have to get out. The blind person in the back withdraws his cash, and they're on their way. Try to be smart, dude. Uh, it, do- it doesn't hurt, bro. I promise. What's up, Ozzy? How are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. What's up, Ozzy? Hey, I got a question for the Ask Me Anything. Uh-huh. Uh, Speaking of the basketball injuries, what do you think the odds are when you guys blow the Pyrenees? That's a dog, sir. I don't think we'll be blowing any Pyrenees. Marcus, what's up? I what's up, not. Drew? How you doing, buddy? Hey, dude. How are you? By the way, Kayla's got the uh, Wayne Brady rap edited. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I just had a quick question, man. I was trying to get your thoughts on um, Pauly Shore. Uh, what do you ever think of any, any of his stuff was funny? And if you think he's ever got a chance of making a comeback. My thoughts on Pauly Shore? Yes. Is this 1989, sir? Are you the Wheeze? Are we chopping it up? Are we chopping it up with the Wheeze? You're asking me my opinion on Pauly Shore? Yeah, I haven't heard anybody talk about him in forever. Yeah, there's a reason, where he went. right? There's a, there's a reason that no one's talked about him forever, dude. Hey, buddy. I mean, I got nothing against Pauly. He's a great interview and a super nice guy. And the movie Pauly Shore is Dead is actually pretty funny. But uh, come on, bro. Holy Shore. All right, here's the Wayne Brady rap. Then we're going to talk to Cowhead. Wayne Brady rocking on Sway in the morning, shade four okay. five. How's your life been, Wayne Brady? Talk about it. My life is lovely. Let's go. Let's go. I like a rap that starts with "My life is life. lovely." By the way, uh, I got that good life. Uh. See, I got that good life because I kept all my because I don't got a wife. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to God I thank. Keep all my green right there in the bank. I keep it in the vault and I keep it locked up. See, this mostly skilled and God and no luck. Every day when I get up, I see the sun. I look into the mirror, say, yes, you the one, son. Because I know that I can do this and I'm not done. And I got so much work that I got to get done. Let me get going because when I go, I'm flowing. When I'm showing, then I'm getting it done. Every daily. And people, when I get these words that I heard, and you understand because this shit never, ever fails President me. President Obama. Yes, Obama. Thank God you back, so skip the drama. Yes, because you's a superstar. So screw what they say. Yes, f- you, Bill Maher. Wait, I didn't mean to talk about it So oh, let me get no, it on did. it Because it's a journey And we gonna be on it So you the man, yes And you the resident And you at Pennsylvania Avenue The black president Alright uh, Cal, what's happening? That was Wayne Brady Rapping on the Sway show I on wish a- he was a little blacker Wayne Brady <laughs> By the way, I hate Bill Maher Me too Never liked him Yep He's always a smarmy douche Smarmy And uh, does not possess any sort of- I love when everybody's like Well, I like an intelligent guy like Bill Maher Really? What makes him so smart? Because he surrounds himself with smart guests and let yeah. them talk back and forth to each other? Never liked him. No, he's a mediator at best. Yep. Yeah, I never enjoyed his uh, his work at all. No. So, uh, anyway, Wayne Brady, however. Love him. Was not aware that he was from Orlando. Yep. But was in studio with us one time, couldn't be nicer, and then challenged me to a pop culture uh, quiz to which I immediately went out and bought Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture Edition, and it still sits in my house saran-wrapped waiting for the day that Wayne Brady comes back. Oh, well, I would like to get down on some of that game. No, sorry, you're disqualified. (laughs) Once you you schooled me twice. Sporkle, I realized, 
Uh, I don't play basketball with Michael Jordan for those sort of reasons. I'm not Michael Jordan of Squir- uh, Sporkle, but I will say uh, yesterday I was playing along on my laptop, and, and anytime Xander's near me, I have to beat you at Sporkle because he likes you better than he likes me. Thank so God. I'm like, I don't have to beat Galvin. All I have to do is beat Mike, and uh, and I play along Sporkle with you guys. Did you, in fact, beat me? I won yesterday. Uh, I, I, I usually do. You guys will get me sometimes, but yesterday I did pretty well. What was the, what was the category yesterday? I was It was something that was pretty damn good. I think songs or something like that. No, Movie roles. They all run together. They to do, don't Today's they? Today's an interesting one today what you got? carmen will be giving the uh, sporkle which is always great oh my goodness fridays we're going to try what john gets to play and carmen administers a sporkle i always wonder how john would do if he were to compete against you guys has he won ever no but john's pretty well-rounded but yeah. he is galvin and i have age over him we have 10 years of knowledge so it'll be kind of hard like it's it's a matter of when you uh say uh, say betty white john yeah. right away is golden girls right. where some people might pick uh earlier shows you sure. know what i'm saying so, absolutely uh, it just tastes John's birthday, by the way. Oh, no, I did not know that. Yes, John Brennan, I think he's a ripe old 31 today. <sighs> Son of a bitch. How much would you give to be 31 again? You know, uh, it didn't matter. I was still married at 31. So oh, yeah, me too. Was fun. But it was one year married. And it That's was so- true. <laughs> oh, Louis, Louis C.K. said it best. What did he say? Louis C.K. Uh, always said that once he got married, he always wanted to get out, but he felt like he was married. He couldn't get out. Yeah. Then he had a kid, and he realized he could have got out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard him on uh, Mark Maron's podcast? No. I, you know what's funny is that I'm well aware of uh, Mark Maron and yeah. his podcast, but I've never listened to Neither it. Neither had I no. until I listened to the Louis C.K. one. You'd really enjoy it. It's two hours with Louis. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. See, there's And so Louis good. cries. Really? Yeah. He starts talking about how his kids changed him as a human being, and he breaks up, and just for like 20 solid seconds, he's, he can't say a word because he's crying. No, oh, bro. I know, right? Louis, of all people. My son has not changed me as a human being. Oh, yes, he is. He I'm loves not. Yeah, he loves me, and I love him, and I'm a great father, but I'll always be the same dumb son of a bitch I am now. <laughs> like, I thought about, you know what I wanted to do tomorrow with my son? Tell me. See, I, I ha- my only pro- I love spending time with my family. I don't like spending time in the house. I right. hate being inside. Yes. I don't want to, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, I'm an outside kind of guy. I right, just hate right. sitting still. Sure. So I, I call my wife, and I try to lay the groundwork down, and I go, hey, why don't I take Joey out early tomorrow and run errands, then we can meet up later for lunch or something because I just wanted to get out right yeah. away without that baggage coming with me. And uh, and by baggage, I meant the baby and of my wife. Uh, so I, uh, you know what I wanted to do, what my secret plan was? Tell me. I was going to take him to the track. <laughs> it's it's such a beautiful experience for children because they get to watch horses or dogs. And then I thought, and then I thought, here's the thing. I'm I, I have taken my son to the track before. Like we we went out one time. We ran a bunch of errands. Went to Toys R Us. And we ended up in St. Pete. Right. And I'm like, let's go to the dog track. We'll go over there and do it's a dog track. We watch the dogs. They run around. And then you bet on them. He was like, all right. Yeah. So we went there. Plus for like eight dollars, you could live like a king. Oh yeah. Plus like nothing to get in. Twenty five cent hot dog. Yeah. And then the best seat in the house is like two bucks. Yeah. Give me a whole row. Absolutely. And then uh, and then you get to sit outside because it's nice out there. And then I'd uh, teaching my son what a quinella is. Oh, yeah. But uh, nobody ever taught me that I had to buy the book and Same bet here. stupid for a couple of years yep. until I finally learned it. So now I think if I teach him, yeah. that's only something that he, he'll grow up knowing. The skill to box a trifecta is something that every eight-year-old child should know. Yeah, well, Six, and he should be able to go up to the window and not hold the line up right. because he has to point right. to certain uh, things. Trifecta box with that one, that one, and that exactly. one. Exactly. Plus yeah. he was uh, eight for... Uh, 10 at the races uh, one day during the Kentucky Derby when he was like three. Solid. Yeah, he was like just pointing, and he did pretty good. It Literally is Literally eight out of ten. But that's the thing. And and we're uh, we're fortunate enough financially where we're not spending our electric bill money. Right. So we'd go there and blow some cash and see what happens. And that separates you from about 98% of the people who are there. There, yeah. you know they're, they're relying on that money so they can pay off some of their damn mortgage. Yeah, not me. It would be no. great if we ran home. We were like, we made an extra eight bucks today. That, that's fun times. My uh, my neighbors do that, and I'm going to take my son soon as well to the. Well, you're the it's close to you over yeah. there, isn't the horses? Yeah, and that place is nice. Yeah, that's another place you can live like a king. I eat valet over there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys got coming up on the show today? Are we playing basketball? Yep, Sunday morning. I'm going to tell you, I'm, what I throw cheap elbows. Okay, I will be the recipient of said Just elbows. Just so I can hold balance. Not a problem. I don't try for rebounds, so we'll who's be good. playing right now? It's me. Yep. You. Yep. Galvin. John. Yep. Galvin. Yep. Uh, Pete, yes, and uh, Seth Kushner, Seth, and I, th- and there's like two or three other guys that are gonna come, which I think is good More than for subbing reasons. Yes, and I don't want to have a grabber. Well, the last thing I want to see is you dunking over my head. You won't see that. No. Uh, I have a vertical leap of a very uh, a white dude. I can't get that high off the ground. I'm a horrible basketball player, but I love to play. That's what it's all about. All right, it's good. fun. Yeah, I'm not a good basketball player. If I can heat up, my shot is okay. But uh, it, that's a big if. I haven't played in years. So. I would play with my brother-in-laws because they're really good. Yeah, but I. But 
but my father-in-law would play, and I would take him on, which is great because he's 70, and I've knocked him down twice. Oh, no. That's right. Nothing, nothing is more powerful than standing over your father-in-law, looking at him, and going, <laughs> and I bang your daughter. Oh, oh. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. That is some intense basketball action. Yeah, then I help him up, and I go, just remember that. A little pat on the butt. Yeah. By the way, none of that really. I knocked him over twice, and I f- could still feel bad about it. Yeah, and you didn't say anything. About no, no. Daughter. I was like, I'm sorry. That we hardly have sex anymore. No. <laughs> I think he knows. Um, well, I hope you guys have a good show. And Don't count on I'll that. be listening. It's Friday. Well, I'm and, you know, I'm like, whatever. We're Spanish. Is he still with those uh, crazy? Now, that no. dude really got the cowhead show tattooed on his chin? Yes. Yeah, people are like dedication, and I'm like, no stupidity. Yeah, it's I heard. Yeah, I heard you with your agent yesterday saying that uh, as much as you love the show, there's no way you would ever do that. As much as I love tattoos, I have yeah. six tattoos. I don't want or five, six. T- five, five, huh. and I don't want uh, that anywhere on me. Mm, same no. here. No, I mean, I, I like. Uh, I have two tattoos, and I'd like more, I suppose, but I just don't know what to get or where to get it. And I definitely would not get uh, in your face with Drew Garabo tattooed anywhere on my body. I'm trying to. I want to sleeve this whole right arm because I have a pretty big one over here. Yeah, and I want to just do it all the way down, like maybe, to, but I can't think of. Like, I don't like anything enough. Let me say this. You do that, you could be front and center in the next 1025 The Bone staff photo. Uh, I don't you know. Go, you go full sleeve. Then I got I to gotta go both sides and some sort of Bible thing on my arm. <laughs> John 360. Yeah. <laughs> the, let me just tell you. It was one thing, and I never – jail is keeping, me, is keeping yes. me out of jail. Yes. My father was a corrections, gar, a corrections officer at Rikers Island, and that makes me ne- – that and, and butt rape make me never want to go to jail. Never. Okay. So – and it's a good deterrent for me because there are people that I want to punch in the throat, and I'm like, I don't want to go to jail. Right. Uh, but I don't think that I'll ever find Jesus in jail. Like no. if I go, I understand. You'll find Jesus, but not Jesus. Desperate times, but there's no way I'm gonna come out and be like, "Well, once I found the Lord, oh, please." No, Mm-mm. no. Uh, I uh, the, the the butt rape thing really is what has always scared me about jail as well. Yeah, no part of that. Thank <laughs> no, you. No, that I'm a small white guy. And the other thing that I'm worried about is I snore a lot. Me too. And what if I get in a cell with a guy who just is a light sleeper? And in the middle of the night, it's not its not even so much like you could be a guy your size. I'm still way bigger. Yeah. But you could be Shank. crazy and in the middle of the night uh, just choke me or yep. slice my throat as I'm snoring because you can't take it anymore. Thank you very much. What Although, do you have to lose? Nothing. If my wife hasn't done it uh, to this point, then a stranger probably wouldn't in a cell. Yeah. Well, you know, Ugh. I've been kicked snoring. out. I sleep in the other room sometimes. My I wife what's will. up. Yeah. That lonely feeling when you wake up and your wife isn't in the bed and you think, I must have snored last night. Yeah. I call that the comfortable feeling. <laughs> Stretch all out and get a good night's sleep Sprawl feeling. Sprawl out a little bit. It's that not is, such a bad idea. That is epic. All right, let's you get sure the hell out of here. Should we want to do another hour? No, I definitely don't. No, my, my uh, capacity for radio this week is peaked. Uh, but I hope you guys have an excellent show, and I will see you Sunday morning. Are you going on the cruise? I am. All right. And I'm very excited about it, too. All right. Yep, my attitude's completely changed. I can't wait. I'm worried now. I uh, feel you should like be. It's a mood swing. No, I, mean, I can't wait. I'm super excited, and uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. The Coward Show is next. The phenomenal Coward Show. Thanks, Caleb. Thanks, Victor. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Bye-bye. Shut up, Victor. See ya. Sure, they may play games like Guess Who Farted, but they're also very Woo! Imitated. Good times. You can just pick a random caller, uh, Kayla, and give them the Green Day shit. <laughs> Who cares? The appropriate type of Green Day shit. Don't want to be an American idiot. Yeah, we're done. Hey, Arlo. Hello. 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 Hello.